Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's almost chocks away for a supersized jet taxi. Your friendly Mythbusters flight crew is about to find out if a taxi got caught behind a jet as it's about to take off, would it be blown into oblivion? Tori directs the colossal 747 into the blast zone on an abandoned section of runway. Fetch. Get it. But first, a word from your captain. So, Philip, you're going to be operating the plane for us. Yes. This is really a treat to be up here and to get to see this in person. There's just way more buttons than I expected. So how does a 747 compare to other planes? This one here has seven R4 G2 engines on it, which produce about 54,000 pounds of thrust each. Wow. So by now, I'm sure you're aware of the myth that a taxi crossed the jet blast and blew away. Yes. In your opinion? With my experience on the airplane and running the engines, uh, I feel that it's possible. Really? Yes. I cannot wait to see this myself. Well, Carrie, that makes two of us. Back at ground zero, the taxi has been positioned 100 feet behind the plane. So, what's the plan? Do I look excited? Well, I am. We're ready to test the jet taxi myth, and this is the setup. We got our 747 in position. We got our taxi in place. We got our breakaway line attached to our cable, which is attached to our tow truck. Now all we need to do is have the captain fire up these engines, have the tow truck pull the taxi cab through the jet blast, and hopefully we'll flip this cab. And of course, our taxi will be driven by the ever unfortunate Buster. Keep change. Good luck, buddy. Any last thoughts from our hero driver? Adam, I am your father. Ooh, interesting. We're finally here, the real thing. I wish Jamie and Adam could be here. I know, you can't beat a real 747. We're towing a taxi right behind it. Dude, I still can't believe they let us play with the 747. We're gonna turn a taxi into a tumbleweed. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, go ahead and fire up the engine. Ready to fire up the engine, truck. In the cockpit, pilot Philip fires up the plane. Engine stable. Roll back. Got to cut out. All parameters check. Roger. With Buster having a career crisis, I wonder if Mike Rowe is hiring. Philip puts the throttle to the metal. The jump in volume is immense as the engines scream at full power. Time to hail our cat. It's now or never for the taxi. Will it flip or will this myth flop? that our in-car camera was busted the moment the taxi hit the screen. This kind of reckless driving is going to do nothing to enhance the reputation of cab drivers. But it does confirm the myth. A result that's left the car... That is incredible. Holy smash! And its driver... <laughs> trashed. All right, I guess we're on to the bus. You're going to yeah. be a bus driver now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're not stopping here. Because next up, will a school bus get cane? Bring out the bus! This is the Super Size Special. I've just had my most favorite moment ever on Mythbusters, seeing the taxi flip behind the jets. Now we're going to see what happens when we drive a bus behind the jets. This terminal tale could be true. Now, the interesting thing is that at airports all over the world, there are buses taking passengers from terminal to terminal. I'm curious to see what would happen if one of those buses strayed off the path and got a little bit too close to a jet. But before Grant's curiosity gets satisfied, well, the bus needs some last-minute alterations. Yeah, you damn kids, shut up! Go through that apple! There are camera positions to be rigged. 
A classic movie scene to be replicated. The bus is rigged with a bomb. Drive straight. Stay above 50. And a squirrel to be relocated. So our bus is ready to go. It was kindly donated to us by the Oscoda School District. And we're going to do the same thing as the taxi. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen, but uh, I think we might see some rolling. There's a lot of flat surface area here, and if you've ever driven a van on a windy day, it just pushes it. So I think this thing is just going to push. Then best buckle up, Buster, nice and tight. Okay. All right, go ahead and fire up the engines when you're ready. Things stabilize, looks good. Send it up. The engines start to turn over, and it's not long before they're ready to go full throttle. The engines soon reach full power screen, and the bus begins its tortuous journey. Now this bus schools out, but will it be over and out? Well, it sure will. The bus takes a route that's totally outside of the school district. This incident will have to be reported, you know. Our team is like a bunch of excited school kids. It's totally lifted off the ground like six or seven feet. I can't believe what I just saw. It was probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time, and we see a lot of cool things here on Mythbusters. The bus got lift probably about six or eight feet off the ground. That's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. But that bus? I will never get that image out of my head. I mean, it got into the air. It had hang time. It actually had hang time. I cannot wait to see the high speed. Then here it is, Carrie. The bus hits the jet stream. Its huge surface area acts like a giant sail. And it gets picked up and dumped like a yacht in a hurricane. Yeah! What the <laughs> heck? Look, we could chop off the top and it'll have a party bus. <laughs> bus there! Look is, at him! Is he okay? He there? Hey, he's all... Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Um. With Buster now the filling in a steel sandwich, it's myth... Obviously confirmed. I think so. Oh, man. All Let's right. move on to an airplane! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Contact! But there's more high-flying fun to come. If this myth bust airplane flips in the jet blast, it'll definitely be the last time this thing ever sees flight. The scenario of a small plane stuck behind a big jet is no joke. It's just like the Wright brothers, isn't it? Just like the wrong brothers. One mistake by an air traffic controller or a pilot, and this could easily happen. Their final form of transportation should literally reach the skies. So they're taking extra pre-flight precautions. Now the difference with this run is going to be the fact that we saw the lift we got on that bus. We saw the lift we got on that taxi. We're a little afraid of blowing this to pieces and possibly damaging a $60 million plane. So this time, we're pushing this back an extra 20 feet. I think it's time to wreck a little plane. This is it! Final one. This is the grand finale! plane gets towed, and it's up, up, and away, but not for long. It seems that the extra distance from the 747 meant that the small plane got out of it relatively unscathed. Of course, I say relatively, but Buster's again out for the count. Look at that. Well, you know what? He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. That's so. right. If he wasn't wearing a seatbelt... He'd be upside Probably. down right now. He'd be upside down. <laughs> Sending the taxi toppling, the bus belly up, and the plane kamikaze is supersized confirmation that driving a vehicle behind a 747 is one giant wrong turn.